Well, we recently reported that thousands of Detroit's new LED streetlights are prematurely dimming and burning out. But according to a team of respected European doctors, that might be the least of our worries. In fact, in our health alert tonight, those researchers are now warning that LED lights can not only disrupt our sleep, but also damage our eyes. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with more on how these lights are affecting our health. Dr. Nandy. Lena, so this new report comes from ANSYS, the French, French Agency for Food, Environmental, and Occupational Health and Safety. Now, what they found that new scientific evidence confirming the phototoxic effects of short-term exposures to high-intensity blue light. Now, phototoxicity is a condition where the eyes or skin have become overly sensitive to light. Now, ANSYS also found that chronic exposure to this low-intensity source can damage the retina in our eyes. Big problem. And this can increase your risk of age-related macular degeneration. Now, as for sleep, blue light can disturb your natural sleep rhythms because our eyes have blue light photoreceptors. So exposure to blue light at night can lead to a suppression of the hormone melatonin, which we all need to help us sleep. Super important. All right, Doc. So you mentioned age-related macular degeneration. What is that? So, Alan, unfortunately, age-related macular degeneration is an eye condition that can lead to vision loss. I've had relatives that have had that, and it happens because of, of damage to a small area of the retina that is responsible for sharp vision. Unfortunately, there's no known cure for macular degenerations. Now, older folks are not only the only ones who need to be concerned. Children cannot fully filter blue light because their eyes are still developing. So they need to be extra careful due to the potential harms of blue light. So what about those anti-blue light sunglasses? Do they work, Doc? Glenda, so the report said that protection via the anti-blue light screen, sunglasses, and filters have not been proven. So uh, another study actually back in 2017 investigated these types of products and also found that there was not enough high quality evidence to support their use. So I would not recommend them for now. But for the most part, sunglasses are designed to block out ultraviolet light. So the ones with the yellow tint could possibly be useful in lowering how much blue light gets to your eyes. I'd also suggest swapping out white and cold blue lights in your home for what we call warm white LED lighting. Now warm white tends to pose less of a phototoxicity risk and macular degeneration nothing to be uh, you know uh, to, to, to take lightly because I've had relatives that have lost their vision because of it so we got we got to watch this and see what we can do. Yeah some important information for sure. Yep. All right doc thank you and if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor you can email him Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.